Fogg here, and this lesson is on multiples of fractions. Uh, so uh, our common core strand is here, and so our essential question is how can we write a product of a whole number and a fraction uh, as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction, okay? So we're going to do uh, other fractions other than unit fractions in this lesson. So here's how we're going to access some prior knowledge. So uh, use the model to represent the fraction as a product of a whole number. So product means multiply, you guys. So as a multiplication of a whole number and a unit fraction. Remember, a unit fraction has one in the numerator, okay? So here's 5, 6. Okay, do you remember in the last lesson with uh, Tristan's pizza party that he had? Okay, so... Uh, here was uh, 5, 6 right here, so we can add up all these 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 5 times, okay? So we can represent it as 5, 6 is adding up 1, 6, 5 times, or we can write 5, 6 as 5 of these 1, 6, or 5 times 1, 6. So here's the whole number times the unit fraction, okay? So that's what they're asking here. So let's do that with this one here. Let me shrink that up right there. All right, so two-thirds, I'm going to do a different model on this one right here, okay? So, so there's one-third, okay? So there's my unit fraction of one-third. There's one times one-third, so I'm going to do two of them, okay? There's two times one-third, so that's going to equal two-thirds because there's two-thirds right there, okay? All right, so how can you write a fraction as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction? All right, so by writing a fraction, this is what we did, as the sum of repeated unit fractions, then you can uh, use multiplication to show the repeated additions, like we did with uh, uh, that pizza one right there. So it is the product of the number of repeated unit, uh, repeated unit fractions and the unit fraction. So how many of the unit fractions did you add together? That's your whole number times, times the unit fraction. Okay, so here we go. So, uh, Mia is making four pans, or is it my? I don't know. Mia, I think. So, is making four pans of baking macaroni casserole. For each pan, she needs two-thirds cup cheese. Okay, so her measuring cup can scoop one-third of a cup of cheese. So, how many scoops uh, of cheese does she need for the four pans? Okay, so... Uh, what we're going to do is use a model to write the product of, since we have four pans and each of them has two-thirds of a cup. See how that's not a unit fraction anymore? So it's going to be four times two-thirds is the product of a whole number and a unit fraction. So we're going to get to our knowledge of unit fractions in here. All right, so here's a two-third uh, two, uh, size parts. Here's a third size part and here's another third size part. So here's two third size parts, okay? There's three parts here and the two of them are shaded, okay? So that represents two thirds, all right? So two thirds equals one third plus one third, okay? Or two times one third, okay? So now we got the unit fractions in there, okay? So here's the product of the whole number times the unit fraction. So two times a third is the same as two thirds right there, all right? All right, so, but Mia has four pans of casserole, so each pan needs two-thirds cup of cheese. Okay, so one pan, here's, uh, uh, one pan is two times a third, which is two-thirds. So two pans is going to be two of them. So there's two of these, so that's what this two is for, two times two times a third. Okay, and then we multiply these two together to get four times a third, which is four-thirds. Okay, can you see that there's four-thirds right there? If we added all these up, here's one-third plus one-third plus one-third plus one-third is four-thirds. Okay, well, that's two pans. Here's three pans. Three pans is going to be three of these two times a thirds. So three times two is six. So six times a third gets me six-thirds. Can you see all these six-thirds over here? Okay, and here's the fourth one. So it's going to be four times two times a third, which is eight times a third. So here it is as the product of a whole number and a unit fraction. So it equals eight thirds, okay? So uh, four times what goes right here? And I'm just reading off this last one right here. Four times uh, two times a third is going to equal eight times a third, which is going to equal eight thirds right there, okay? That's what this says right here, all right? Okay, so uh, let's see. What did I do up here? Oh, okay, so Mia uh, needs how many uh, blank third size scoops of cheese uh, for the four pans of macaroni? She's going to need eight of the third size of these. Eight of... Now, in math, when you guys get higher in math, you guys, multiplication is the fancy word for of. So when you guys get into Algebra 1 and stuff, you see the word of? That just means multiplication. So uh, she needs eight 
third side scoops of, there's my of right there, of, um, of cheese. Okay? All right. Okay, so the 8 goes right there. All right, so explain how this model of 4 times 2 thirds uh, is related to a model of 4 times 2. Okay, well, 4, uh, both models show, show 4 equal groups. Okay, the equal groups in the model of 4 times 2 thirds are uh, parts of a whole. This is my parts of a whole. It's 2 thirds of a whole right there. The equal groups in the model of 4 times 2 are, are parts of a whole. I mean, they're whole, so it's 4, it's, uh, four equal groups of of holes right here. There's no fractions right here, so it's not parts of a hole, it's of a hole right there. All right, so I don't know if that made sense or if that made it more confusing. Let's not get too hung up on that. So what if Mia decided to make uh, 10 pans of macaroni casserole? Describe a pattern you can choose, uh, uh, you could use to find the number of scoops uh, of cheese she would need to use. I'm going to bring that model back up, you guys. Okay, so, so this model shows that Mia needs uh, two-thirds uh, two third size scoops so two third size scoops for one pan so this is one pan right here okay all right now let's keep going so she's gonna need four uh, scoops for two pans so can you see there's four scoops for two pans so there's gonna be four third size scoops right here but then we'll just call them scoops because they're they're scoops of a third okay and then if we did six pans she's gonna need uh, six I'm sorry if we did three pans you guys so three pans is going to give us six, okay, and so on. So do you see the pattern right here? They just keep um, uh, they just keep doubling because it's two third size of them right there. So the number of scoops is two times the number of pans because it's two thirds of a of a scoop right there. Okay, so there's uh, two scoops in each pan. So if we just multiply this number times two, that'll tell me how many scoops uh, she's going to need. So she's going to need 20 of the third size scoops, 10 times 2 or 2 times 10 in the for the 10 pans right there. Okay, does that make sense? They keep doubling, doubling, doubling right there. So let's keep going. Let's go back here. So they kept doubling. So here's four third size scoops. Yeah, I'm sorry to go over here. Here's four third size scoops. Here's six third size scoops on three pans. With four pans, it made eight third size scoops, which was eight thirds, so it was always times two. So the number of scoops is two times the number of pans. So Mia needs two times 10 or 20 third size scoops. Okay, so in this next example, we're going to be writing multiples of non unit fractions. All right, so I think we're starting off, yeah, with two fifths. All right, so let's use a number line to write the multiples of two fifths. Okay, so here's my number line, and I got to, I went all the way up to two right there, and I cut them up into five equal spots right here. So here's one fifth, two fifth, three fifth, four fifth. This is five fifth, six fifth, seven fifth, eight fifth, nine fifth. This is ten fifth. This is zero fifths right here. So here's that right there. Okay, so uh, there's a, uh, we're going to do uh, multiples of two fifths. So I just jumped by, uh, here's one times two fifths, got me to two fifths right here. Here's another multiple of two fifths, two times two fifths. Okay, each hop is going two fifths of a hop. Here's three times two fifths. So three times two fifths jumps to six fifths. Okay, two times two fifths was four fifths. One times two fifths was two fifths. I'm just multiplying. Uh, the top numbers uh, by by the whole numbers right here. Okay, that's what this said right here. We're just multiplying two fifths by the counting whole numbers right there. Okay, so there's three times two fifths is six fifths. What do you think four times two fifths is? One, two. It's going to take me to eight fifths right there. So there's four times two fifths. There's five times two fifths. Okay, so uh, multiples of two fifths are here's two fifths. Four fifths, six fifths, eight fifths, and ten fifths. Okay, because it's one times two fifths, two times two fifths, three times, four times, five times. I can keep going if you want. So, so multiples of uh, two fifths or four fifths, six fifths, eight fifths, and ten fifths. Okay. Note, uh, note how each hop on the number line represents two fifths. What do four jumps on this number line represent? Okay. If we did four jumps, well, four jumps would be Two fists, two fists, two fists, two fists. It would take me out to eight fists. Four times two fists. Okay, so a uh, multiple of four and two fists is four times two fists or eight fists, and it would take me out there to eight fists. Okay, all right. Uh, so uh, three times two fists equals six fists. So write six fists as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. Okay, we've done this before. So there's my uh, my number line, and I cut it up into uh, the fifths right here, fifth size parts. And so we're going to do it as 
uh, six fifths. Here's three times uh, two fifths. It's right there at six fifths right there. And we're going to write this as the product of whole numbers and unit fractions. Okay, this is one times one fifth. This is two times one fifth. This is three times one fifth, four times one fifth, five times one fifth. Okay, this time I'm only going by one fifth instead of two fifths right here. I'm only going by unit fractions. Okay, so right here, this is going to be six times one fifth. So three times two fifth is the same as six times one fifth. Isn't that groovy? So three times two fifths is the same as six times one fifth. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. All right, and if these are helping you guys and you're at home watching these, uh, go ahead and press like. That would mean a lot to me. Take care, you guys.